Hi everyone, my name is Booney. I'm a life coach for creative and gifted people. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and comment. I'd really appreciate that. Um, it'll give you updates on more content related to personality, psychology, mental health, and relationships. Um, this video is about this term of triangulation. It's about, you know, um, relationship patterns, Bowen family systems, different types of family systems type of psychology where we tend to pull other people in to the conflict that we have with another person to kind of stabilize the stress or the anxiety that we, we tend to have when it's directly with one person. So um, one of the examples I want to mention is when you have two parenting partners and there's a child. So you have two parents and then the child gets pulled into the drama, which makes it a triangle because, you know, instead of directly confronting or talking about the, the conflict with the person, the other parent, you instead start complaining to your child about how incompetent this parent is, what the parent did, the things that you wish the other parent would have said, or like just your frustrations. And again, this is redirecting all the energy that can be going towards repairing the conflict to the child and what happens with the child is they become um the the parent child relationship changes where it's no longer parent and child it's more like parent and peer parent confidant parent even therapist um it can parentify the child where the, this term is the child grows up a little bit too soon they restart doing responsibilities of, of trying to appease the parent trying to calm them trying to make them feel better when they're stressed out or having conflict and that's very unfair to a child and yet it's something many of us have done many of us have experienced um, this doesn't have to be the only way a child is parentified but it's a very common thing that happens where again two adults are arguing uh, instead of working through the conflict because it's too intense it's too too difficult to do so you pull in someone else most likely a child a vulnerable person um, talk about and complain about the relationship to the child instead and again that can parentify the child again give them a role that should not be theirs to begin with instead of having the role of a child they grow up very fast they learn to read the cues of hypervigilant adults, uh, maybe reading about anger that's about to happen, um, learning how to appease and placate. They learn how to become the negotiator, the mediator in the family system. And that's, again, not fair, but it, it happens. You know, some of us, it happens to some of us, happens to a lot of us where we learn to mediate. We learn to be the caregiver. And so what does that do over time? Um, this role, if it doesn't change, helps a child become someone who could be codependent, someone who looks for relationships where they're the caregiver. Instead of being equal, they may look for someone to quote unquote fix, someone who is wounded, someone who needs that extra care, that burden of listening to their problems or offering silence to just listen while someone has a hard time in life. And so um, to help bypass that is to just first acknowledge that this is the pattern. Um, if you have a child and you your parenting partner relationship is kind of intense where you're um, complaining or redirecting or whining to your child, please change this dynamic however you can. And some things I recommend are to pause, you know, like even though you've done this for a while, you can change the patterns, you can change the dynamic now. It's never too late. I think it's never too late. Some people might think it's too late sometimes, you know, it depends. Um, when it comes to having a child, it's never too late. You can stop the pattern by not complaining to your child. You can understand that this is not appropriate to share to my child because it can shift their perspective of what's going on. And this is an adult conversation. This is adult conflict to, to have adult, adults fix. It's not a place of a child to fix. It's not a place of a child to listen to my woes and my, my um, complaining about life. That's not their job. I can find another adult, uh, someone who's more on my level of authority and vulnerability to share this stuff with. And that could be a friend. If you don't have a friend, you could find a support group. You can call 211. If you are in the United States or Canada, it's a behavioral health um, support resource line. It can help you find things like a 
a hotline, help you find support groups, help you find low cost resources to find the help that you need. Because again, children being burdened with this role, it will take a shape of their life and their future roles and relationships that they seek out. And so we wanna bypass this. We wanna prevent a lot of these things. We wanna make sure that they have tools to seek out healthier relationships. You know, and even though you're as an adult, you've done these patterns or repeated or participated in these types of patterns, you have the power to, um, to change them now. It doesn't have to always exist in the present. You know, and, and knowledge is power. You know, choosing to change is important. Finding resources and, and giving yourself permission to make mistakes while you're trying to change is really important too. Like, this is not magic. It's not going to happen overnight. A lot of us who have done this work, we have hiccups. We we see ourselves in the past and then we we trip and stumble while we're trying to be our best selves. Like, it happens. You know, it's it just something to give yourself permission to honor. Um, that's important too. So while you're trying not to triangle your child, you're trying not to parentify a child while you're having conflict with another adult, please give yourself that grace and compassion to make mistakes because we're human beings. So I hope this was useful. And I know this is one of my shorter videos, but I, I hope it's useful because again, the holidays are coming. And I think this was something that might be beneficial for some of us to hear because as we get stressed out towards the holidays, we're going to start having more conflict with adults and we may start pulling in the more vulnerable people in the systems that we're in that's most likely going to be a child so again if you're arguing please try and keep that away from children as much as you can you know like um have a conversation away from the children um think about how to address it maybe writing things down beforehand um, you could have a speech that's okay you know if it's easier to say stuff after you write it down more power to you there's different ways to go about this it doesn't have to be in the moment and very dramatic and, and overwhelming taking breaks is important too i'll also link some of my conflict resolution rules and things to consider um and again i hope it helps because you know a lot of things are very unsure and uncertain and very intense right now i'm trying to just offer a little bit of resource here and there and my belief that you can do this work even though it is difficult i know you can do it okay and, and also if it is kind of difficult i always will recommend therapy or coaching uh, and again in the video description i'll offer that in the resource as well so again for anyone who has not subscribed to my channel please do i'd really appreciate it and give this video a thumbs up uh, and, and give it a comment for whatever has worked with you when you have a pictured triangulation or bringing people into your drama what have you done to stop that cycle and what have you done to kind of build firmer boundaries with other people who have done the same thing i'd really appreciate the feedback because again this is a community and a community helps each other um, one another grow so uh, take care everyone i hope you have a great holiday and i'm rooting for you bye